is what's making you fat and big. You know what I'm saying? So like it's not just it's not necessary. Just the fact that you get fat from it, you don't need to. It's a waste. You know, you I couldn't get fat and then you you have to burn that. <laughs> hello guys hope you guys have been good hope you guys have been staying safe doing what you have to do to protect yourself the people around you your loved ones um so i thought I, I, there's a lot of thing the whole thing going on right on youtube between the priest and greg Dusset about bulking and it is a question that i get often people ask me if bulking is necessary if they have to bulk put on uh, muscles and I thought this would be the perfect occasion to do a video about it so you know I let people know I will have done the video about it anyway but this is the, 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 the I think it's the best time to do it and um, I think that they're, they're kind of both, both right right I don't think the priest ever told anyone to get fat um, you know to get like, fat with a big belly and stuff like that but um, I personally I don't recommend, I don't tell people to bulk because I made that mistake myself before where I was uh, eating like a million calories, million calories, yeah, no, I was not really eating a million calories, but I was, <coughs> <coughs> this is not Corona, I was eating about a million calories a day and I was not doing cardio and yes, I got big bigger than I have ever been. I, I believe I was, I was 112 kilos or something like that. Um, when I was bulky and I had no abs and I was, I was huge. And then I, I had no abs and you know, I'm not a, a, a professional about it. I don't compete. I just train to look good, you know, for self-confidence. I want to look good. And that means abs. You know, it's it's part of it, man. You want to look big, but also have abs, and it was that's and, and and there was this guy at the gym, which abs like crazy abs, and you know, I, I thought he looked amazing, so I wanted abs too, and it took me a few months to actually lose all the carbs, all the fats, and what I would that I put on thanks to my bulky to get abs and to look lean. It took me a lot. Um, it took me a lot, a lot, a long time. Of uh, doing cardio, going on a diet, on a strict diet, to lose the, the excess um, fat and, and water weight. So I, I do not recommend people to do bulking, right? Unfortunately, there are a lot of people who cannot put on um, muscles without bulking, and that's mostly because of training, right? Uh, you know, to put on muscles, you have to train hard. You have to, to go heavy because you are trying to stress your muscles. You are trying to stress them out the most possible. So you need strength to train. You need to, to lift heavy. And being able to lift heavy means eating a lot of calories, eating a lot of carbs because that gives you strength. You know, that helps you lift heavy. So a lot of, some people are not able to do that some people are not able to go to the to be on low carbs on calorie deficit go to the gym and still kill it and be, so they have to uh, you know go on an excess calorie excess calorie you have to eat a lot of calorie and then that's bulky so to those yes but still watch the amount of calorie you put into your body right because sooner or later you don't have to to uh, to shut down and when you do, you're going to lose most of the, the, the size you, you, you got. And because when, keep in mind, when you bulk, you are putting, you're eating excess calorie. You are, that's what you're putting into, into your body. You're putting in more calories in your body than what you burn. So the, that excess calorie is going to turn into fat. The carbs are going to draw water into your muscles. You're going to have water weight. So all that size is actually mostly fat and water weight. So when you shred down, you're going to lose that. So I don't, I don't tell, I don't recommend people to bulk, right? What I tell people is, which is what I do as well, because I'm the worst when it comes to discipline and eating clean. I can't, I cannot. Anytime I have to do a show, I always end up cheating on my diet all the time because I just can't. I love food. I started training because 
I wanted to eat. That's the purpose. One was to look at Goku, but also because I eat a lot, you know. So I wanted to be able to eat a lot and still get up. That's why I started training. So I have because I had to burn all the things I put in. So I don't see the point of, of not stretching myself, depriving myself, um, eating veggies and chicken breast every single day. That is slavery, and that's something I do not want to. That's not a life, you know what I'm saying? I enjoy. I you no know, food is part of life. You have to enjoy food. You know what to do without food? What are you going to do without? I mean, life is going to be messed up without being able to eat good food. And I don't know. Look, I'm, I I won't be happy if I if I can eat food and be I can eat what I want when I want. So what I do is I do cardio. Even in my off season, I do I do cardio. I do about thirty minutes of cardio a day, and that is to burn the excess uh, calories that I put in. So, and that's why I do my cardio after my workout. So I eat um, pretty much what I want in the morning, in the in the afternoon. I do my workout. I go all out, and then I do thirty minutes of cardio after my workout, and then at night I only eat protein, no carbs. So that's what I do. And it's been working, you know, I've been able to stay pretty lean. And I also believe I've, I've been putting on uh, quite a good amount of muscles. Um, and the, the good news is while doing that, the muscle you put on are real muscles, most of it, not fat and water weight. And as, and that's what I recommend people. That's what I tell people to do. Uh, do the clean bulk. Don't, don't put excess. Uh, calories in your body you going to turn into fat and just the fat that it turns into fat mean you don't need it right if you need that amount of calories to, to, to leave weight i'm gonna go with that let's say all right you need to eat two thousand or two million calories a day to be able to train heavy that's what you believe then you should be you shouldn't be able to get fat because if that's what you need then your body is burning it for you to be able to lift heavy then why are you getting fat you know what I'm saying? That's because there's excess. And that excess is what's making you fat and big. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's not, a, it's not necessary. Just the fact that you get fat from it, you don't need to. It's a waste. You know, you, you're going to get fat, and then you, you have to burn that. You know, it's a waste of money. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of everything. So, I don't tell people to bulk. To bulk. Yes, I do have some clients that lean they are really lean people like they don't have muscles they're really you know skinny and lean people and at the beginning i do tell them you know go all out you know, eat all all the carbs you want do that at, at for beginners and the reason why i do that is for the you know they call it beginners luck like, you know when you walk into the gym first you start you know you start getting big so i do i tell them that for them to be seeing results right it's going to be easier for them to work out if they are not on the, on the crazy diet and if they are seeing results even if it's fake results even if it's fat and water weight they are still going to see results and that's going to make them stay in the gym that's going to motivate them to stay and to keep coming to the gym so i recommend the beginners to do that but once you've been in the gym for a few months a year then i tell them start reducing the carbs because now you know what you're doing now you have you're used to going to the gym you're used to that routine so you can be on deficit and still have the energy to work in and do what you have to do so that's that's why i still recommend um, to my clients when it comes to to bulking I, I actually never people do contact me um because they want to bulk so they ask me what what do i do and you know because that's what they want so i'll tell you what you what you need to do to bulk because you want to bulk but uh, i would not i do not recommend people to bulk i think it's um it's a waste of time it's a waste of time um if you if you love eating and um you know you, you want to bulk because you don't want to to be straight with your diet when you don't have a purpose you're not going to complete or show your body um so you want to take it easy and eat take it easy and eat which is what i always do I recommend do cardio do 30 minutes of cardio after your workout right and do not eat carbs too late uh, during the night because um, then you're not going to do anything and uh, you're just going to go to sleep and it's going to, you know, you're not going to burn those calories. So that's what I tell people to do. <coughs> so, 
to, to answer the question about who is right, I think they're both right. Lip, I don't think Lipus ever said, um, eat so much that you get fat, right? And, um, and Greg, um, as much as it pains me to admit it, because, um, no, let's be honest, I'm not a big fan of him. I think he sounds like a cat who have had cold or something. But most of the time, he is right, to be honest. So, um, yeah. As much as he kills me to admit it, yeah, he is right about the whole barking thing. So, uh, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed the video. I hope you guys um, learned something from it. If this is just personal opinion. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a, a compete. An IVB veteran or anything, just a guy, you know, who trains a lot and look good. I think, and I uh, know what he's doing. You know, I was able to do it myself. So, right. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, stay safe. You know, stay strong. Stay motivated. Lone Wolf. Signing out. Uh -huh.